Okay. Um, that was fun. That was a blast. That's uh, in case y'all are wondering what the heck's going on with this jersey. That was my hundredth game, and the players uh, gave me this in the locker room, and, and uh, just really uh, humbled by that. Uh, it's amazing. But uh, that was championship football. Really proud of our team, and uh, happy for our fans, uh, and uh, just happy for Clemson Nation. And some of you may or may not know, but our other football team, our soccer team, made the Final Four last night. So we got two, two Clemson football teams in the Final Four, which is pretty cool. So I'm glad we were able to uphold our end of the deal tonight. Um, one of the things I told the players in the locker room is that, you know, they, 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 they you know, they're in the moment right now, and they really, they're just, they're just young, and there's really no way that they can really have a true appreciation for, for what they've accomplished and just how hard it is to accomplish what they've accomplished. And I, I've been on a 13-0 team. I know how hard it is to do it. And, uh, but they will appreciate this as they grow older and wiser. Uh, but it is so hard to do what they've done. I mean, I, the odds of going 13-0 and uh, are so incredibly slim, especially when you play three top ten teams along the way. Uh, but these guys found a way to get it done, and, and uh, I'm just so proud of them. I think we're the only undefeated team left now, 127 Division One teams, and the Tigers are the, are the last undefeated, unscathed team out there. And, and we, we've had to earn it. Uh, we've had to earn it. We, I think that's 16 in a row for us, which is a school record. And uh, just proud of our guys, our 15th ACC title. Uh, one of the things we talk about all the time is, is again, you know, you got to earn it. And this team has earned their way to the college football playoff. And, um, you know, we, we, talk, we started talking back in August 3rd. We, we, we said 15 for 15. You know, why not? You know, the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Why not dream big? You know, think, dream big. Why, why, don't, why, don't, why, don't, why don't we be the best, best ever? There's never been a 15-0 college football team. You know, why not at Clemson? Uh, and our guys are not afraid to dream. They're not afraid to, to work. And uh, they're not afraid to, uh, you know, get off the bank, you know, and, and get out in the deep water every now and then. These guys are special. Uh, and I think it showed. I love the guts and I love the heart of this team. And uh, we talk all the time about you got to be a champion on the inside before you can be a champion on the outside. And, and uh, tonight, they're, the, the inside of these guys really shine through. And... Um, you know, so now we're here. We're the champions of this league, and you look at our what happened in this game. Uh, offensively, 608 yards. Uh, I mean, Deshaun Watson was amazing. Uh, he rushed for 120 something, threw for 280 something. Uh, our offensive line took the game over, 319 yards rushing. Uh, Wayne Gallman uh, was amazing. He had 187 yards rushing, and 165 of that came in the second half. And uh, and the other thing I'm really proud of with Wayne, because uh, I want him to be the best in the in the country, and I always challenge him. You got to get better in the passing game. And tonight he had 68 yards receiving uh, and a receiving touchdown. Uh, so really proud of him. Uh, Arteva Scott was huge for us, big plays. Uh, Leggett had a couple of big plays for us uh, defensively. You know, challenge Shaq. I said, hey, if you're a Lombardi fan, let's play like it. And you know, he had a sack, a uh, calls fumble, tackle for loss. Just a big game from number 90. Uh, Cordray Tankersley, you know, big interception down there. Huge interception. Shaq calls the fumble. Austin Bryant, a true freshman, came up with it. Um, you know, a lot of big plays. And I think the big thing is we held number 34 to 65 yards. He's a great back, and, and their quarterback was 11 for 33. Uh, so, you know, really uh, uh, proud of our guys. And then special teams, you know, obviously uh, they tried to run a fake. We were able to stop that. Uh, Renfro came up with the big onside, uh, the hands team, uh, the onside kick there. That was that was huge. The, probably the smallest guy on the field came up with the ball. Um, and, uh, you know, when they challenged, I said, do you have that ball? He said, Coach, I had it, and I showed it to the ref. So, uh, great job by Renfro. And and then just, you know, I thought we, we, we did a great job in a lot of areas. Another big field goal. But, you know, awesome night. Uh, we're really excited. I'm happy for our fans, happy for, for, the, for the Tiger Nation. Uh, sounds like we're going to have a great pizza party tomorrow to celebrate the, the poll on December 6th. Uh, so we will celebrate this poll, I promise you. Uh, so, you know, we'll have a good time with that. Appreciate uh, Papa John stepping up and, and, and working with us on that. Um, but uh, it's a special night.
special night and one that I'll never forget. Again, my 100th game and, and to be in the ACC championship game uh, is, is even more special and uh, our 15th ACC title. But uh, players will be off this week and we'll get back at it uh, next Sunday, start our bowl prep once we know who we're playing and where we're going and all that stuff. Coach has got to hit the road recruiting this week. But um, just really proud of our team. And uh, this old guy to my left here is uh, – I watched him get the ACC Player of the Year trophy last night. Uh, but he's not just the best player in this conference. He's the best player in the country. And I, 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 I don't – if you sit down and watch all 13 games, I don't know how you can argue with that. Um, sure, I'm glad he's, he's on our team. Uh, with that, I'll take any questions that you may have. Again, remember to raise your hand. Let us know who you are, who you are, who you're with, and please wait for the handheld mic. First question to our left. Uh, Dabo Jordan Hunkup with New Bern Sun Journal here in North Carolina. Um, first off, congrats to you and the guys on the championship. Um, you know, piggybacking on what you talked a lot about is you guys' toughness, your medal, everything that you said been tested through the Notre Dame game, Florida State, now this one. Um, with, with that rise that you've been through. What you know, you said this group's special. What exactly is is different with this team that you're able to you know complete it and finish it and get it get the undefeated season done? Well, they love each other. You know, I just I, they they truly have a love uh, and a genuine appreciation for each other. Uh, and championship teams have to win different ways. You know, we're we're I think we're just gonna have pepperoni pizza tomorrow. But but. Uh, it's this is supreme pizza uh, with this team. We got a little bit of everything. Uh, I mean, they they found ways to win different ways, and uh, whether it's been a big kick or a big stop, um, you know, we've played in all kind of elements. And I think just their their will to win, and then their will to prepare. Uh, these guys have have been focused all year long, even though everybody tries to talk them out of being focused every week. It seems like every week we're supposed to lose. You know, every week it's a trap game. Every week, you know, this and that. But they just keep about their business. Um, and it's been a fun group. The leadership of this team is amazing. You know, and that was the thing I talked about in the beginning of the year. Uh, everybody wanted to compare this team to 2011 because we had 40 freshmen. In 2011, had 42. Uh, but the difference is the leadership on this team, they've only had success. And they're battle-tested. In 2011, we were just getting the program going, and we hadn't really been there yet. These guys have been there, done that. They've won a bunch of ball games, and so the leadership uh, has absolutely been amazing uh, all throughout the year. Not just our seniors. I mean, guys like – I mean, we got a couple sophomores right here. Uh, Shaq's a junior, and he's been an incredible leader for us. So uh, just really uh, – that's, that's, I think, what makes us so special. Second row. Darrell Wilkinson with the skyboat.com. Uh, Coach, uh, I heard from you outside that a 13 and 0 used to get you a national championship. Now it just gets you a ticket in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how does it feel to be in? Uh, well, it's great. I mean, that's what we started off. That was our goal. We met August 3rd, 124 days ago. We had our first meeting, and I put some things up on the board to kind of talk about and kind of lay it out, the vision for the season. And, and uh, so we expected to be here. I mean, this was our expectation. Uh, everybody want to talk about, well, we're going to be great next year. Well, why we got to wait till next year? Uh, everybody wanted to talk about what we didn't have. We had 10 guys off of last year's defense go to the NFL. We got five new starters in the offensive line. Uh, we got a new punter, new kicker, new snapper, new holder. And, you know, but these guys, they didn't buy into all that stuff that, well, we're not only supposed to be good next year. Uh, we, we knew we had good players back. I'm sitting here going, hey, we got Shaq. He's pretty good. I know Vic's gone, but that number 90 is going to be okay. Kevin Dodd and, and Reeder and Watkins and all those guys and Ben and BJ and TJ and, and uh, J-Ron and Cordray and McKenzie. I mean, we just we got good players. And then you look at this offense, I really felt like our offensive line would, would turn out to be a strength for us, and it has. So we expected to be here, uh, but it's awesome. I mean – you're the only undefeated team left. It's a hard thing to do. Like I said, in 1992, uh, we were 13-0, and we were national champions. Uh, but that don't get it done anymore. Uh, you you got to keep playing, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Front row. Coach Ashley Mahoney, the Charlotte Post. You touched on how the youth of this team and seeing the implications going forward about how much this is going to impact them later in life, seeing particularly your quarterback – Sophomore, tremendous potential down the road. What